Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to remove the activation lock on any iOS device running 12.3 all the way up to 13.6. I'm pretty excited to share this video with you. I've seen countless videos on YouTube myself of people claiming to remove the activation lock and it never really fully works. But good news is I found a way. I partnered with a company called Tinnershare and I used their software called For Me Key. It worked. I'm gonna show you how I did it. So what you're gonna need is an activation lock device. I have a iPad mini 4 here with an activation lock on it. You're gonna need a thumb drive with at least five gigabytes of storage, a computer that's running Windows. There is a Mac version to this as well. And you're gonna need a lightning cable. So let me show you how I get it done. Okay, so a couple little tips that I would recommend before you get started is first charge the device. Um, I got mine charged all the way up to 100%. I highly recommend just getting it charged so that you don't have any issues and it doesn't take as long. Another thing too, as soon as you connect the device, iTunes might pipe open. And um, if you don't have the device updated to the software versions that I mentioned earlier, which was 12.3 or 13.6, then go ahead and get the device updated. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to go to Tinnershare for me key right here. And we're going to go ahead and download the, the software. Um, I'll have a link in the description. So we're going to download the software and we're going to go ahead and run it. Once it's ready, you go ahead and launch it. And boom, there it is. Tinnershare for me key. And now we're gonna remove the iCloud lock. It says remove iCloud activation lock. To do this, we're gonna have to first jailbreak the device. And we're only gonna wanna connect only one iOS device to the computer at a time. So go ahead and click start. And in here, you'll see a couple of disclaimers for this device. This tool will jailbreak the iOS device before removing iCloud activation and the operation has the potential to brick the device. So keep that in mind. After bypassing the iCloud activation lock, you are una unable to use the phone for a function of the phone uh, for phone calls, cellular and iCloud of your new Apple ID. However, you can log in the Apple ID through the iTunes App Store and download apps over Wi-Fi. This tool is only designed to help individual users who forget their Apple ID password. Problems caused by any other organization or group using this tool to obtain device permissions are not related to this tool. So this device currently supports devices only from iPhone 5S to iPhone X running with iOS 12.3 to iOS 13.6 like I mentioned earlier. So we're just going to go ahead and say I have read this agreement. It's going to connect to the device if you already got it plugged in. I got mine plugged in here. And what it's telling me is to jailbreak your device. I'm also going to show you how to do that. It has a little tutorial here. Let's go ahead and follow this tutorial. So we got to make sure that we are running a computer that runs Windows 7 or later. We got a flash drive. I would recommend something a little bigger than two gigabytes. Um, because we're going to be downloading this ISO onto the thumb drive and we just want a little extra space. So we're going to download this and download this rufus.exe. Once you download Rufus, we're going to go ahead and get it opened. I did this earlier so and I was able to record it, so I'll show you a little video of how to do that now. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get the thumb drive plugged in. We're gonna to want to format the device to a FAT32. Go ahead and erase everything off of this. Just so you know, you will not be able to use this thumb drive again after this task. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and open up Rufus. From here, we're gonna select the thumb drive. And then we're gonna to go to select 
and select that ISO image file that we downloaded earlier. When we click start, we're going to say write in DID image mode. And it's letting us know that all the device data will be destroyed. It's going to write all of that onto the thumb drive. And then some error messages will pop up saying, hey, what's going on? Just go ahead and close all of those. And we're all done with that. Let's move on. Once you get that downloaded onto the thumb drive here, we're going to go ahead and restart the computer. And I'm going to show you how to get this into the boot menu. And from there, we're going to run the file that's on the thumb drive and we'll be able to jailbreak our device. So let's go ahead and get that done. On a Windows device, you're going to go down to the Windows key and click settings and then go up to update and security. Then go down to recovery and do restart now. From here, you're going to select use a device and select the USB menu. You may receive a screen that says invalid signature detected check secure boot policy and setup. I can show you how to change that real quick. If this didn't pop up, go ahead and skip this part. With the device powered off, go ahead and power it on and immediately click the escape button. Keep clicking it until you reach a boot menu. From there, click enter setup, go all the way down to security and secure boot menu. From there, you'll see secure boot control. If it says enabled, go ahead and disable that. From here, plug in the USB thumb drive and restart your computer and go to the settings, go to recovery and rerun it in the advanced startup menu. So once you select choose a device and you choose the USB, you will now see it's running the file that we had on there. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is connect the device and then click start. It's going to put the device into recovery mode, which makes the tablet look like this. Then it's going to ask you to put it into DFU mode. Just go ahead and click start and follow the steps on the screen. So this one had me hold the power and the home button down. And then I got the device into the DFU mode. From there, it's going to run the software and you can see the device looks like this. Once it says booting, it's going to restart and it's all done. And then we're going to restart the computer and continue with Tenorshare for Miki. Okay, now we got the computer restarted. We got the device jailbroken. And now we're going to go ahead and open for Miki. This software does require a purchase to be able to be used. Um, if you're planning on just using it one time, you can purchase the one month license or the one year license. Uh, I would recommend just the one month license. You put in your email address, go ahead and click continue. You put in your zip code. And from here you can click add coupon. And I'll have a coupon code in my description of the video that will save you 30% off. And if you wanna find out a way how to get the software for free, Stay tuned until the end of the video. Once that's done and you have registered the software, go ahead and click start. It will connect to the device. It's going to show some information about the device. Go ahead and click start remove. Takes just a second. It doesn't take long at all actually. And boom, the iCloud activation has been removed successfully. Well, let's check it out and see. Couple warnings, do not factory set or flash firmware of the device after a successful iCloud removal, or the device will be locked again. And do not log in to iCloud account from the settings. All right, done, and let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, see, it had the iCloud lock and it just showed remove the activation lock. Let's go ahead and click continue. I'll set all this stuff up later. Don't use, don't use. Let's 
set it later in settings. Don't use. Agree. Continue. Continue. Not now. Set up later. Don't share. We're going to go ahead and stick to the light theme for now. Continue. 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 Welcome to iPad. Boom. Never before did I think I could remove an activation lock, but with Tenor Share for me key, I was able to get it done. Here's the device here. Um, I can go to the App Store and log in to an Apple ID of mine. I'll kind of show you what that looks like. From here, I got it signed in. I'm gonna go to the App Store here and I'll go ahead and download like Hulu or something. Check it out, got it downloaded. Go ahead and open. Boom. Thanks for watching. We got the activation lock removed. If you're interested in getting the Tenor Share For Me Key license for free, uh, we've partnered to give 10 free one year licenses away. Uh, to be entered into that, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment some things you liked about the on the video, and I'll be reaching out to the winners. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Take care.